Hi everyone, this is Beth Marshall and I would like to walk you through how you can create your own low-code API workflow using Postman's uh, feature flows. Um, so I have the early access uh, version of Postman flows. You can get that by uh, Googling Postman flows early access and there's a short form you need to fill out but I'm sure at some stage that will uh, come into general availability. Um, I'm also using Postman version 10.7 uh, for reference. Flows has changed quite a lot recently, so get the latest if you can. The first thing you're going to want to do is click over here in the Flows area or click the New button up at the top of your bar here. So that's what we'll do. Let's hit that new button and you can see here tons and tons of options for things you can do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click the flows button to help create our API workflow. So that takes us to the flows section um, and we can see here a new flow has been generated for us. We're placed in the um, kind of title bit so we can add a name for our flow test flow ABC and this is the flows grid so this is your canvas to build your own flow and you do that by using um, the three different types of blocks that you have in Postman uh, a task block a logic block and a data block I have to think about that there um, <laughs> so what we're going to do is build a really simple flow to um, send a request and then log that to the console. So all we need to do, as it says here, we have the start button added in for us in the latest version. We just need to click this little noodle here and drag it to where we want it to be. So we're going to just drag it here and then it brings up the block selector. So from here we can see all of the current blocks. This is a much reduced list to the one that was previously, but I think it, it makes it much more simple. And we're going to select that send request block. And what basically that does is it calls an API in the same way that if you're familiar with Postman and you open an API request and you hit that send button, that's exactly what this does. So to do that, we need to add tell um, Postman flows which requests we want to send. So to do that, we need to select our collection. You need to have a collection uh, in your collections folder. We're going to uh, ping the server. So we're going to select from the RESTful Booker uh, collection. We're going to select that ping request. And if you wish to, if you don't have, if you have environment variables set up, you can also choose the environment you want to send that through. So we have a URL variable here in this section at the bottom. And you can see when we hover over, it tells us what value that is and what its scope is. So that's the correct information that I want. So let's try that out first. What we do is just hit that run button. You can see a little line went from the start button to the send button there. And if we open up our console and do this again, we can see clicking that run button calls that send request to happen. Um, another thing you might want to be aware of is uh, logging output to the console. So you can do this by adding a log block and that will tell us if it's successful or if there's a failure, it will drop some information into our console log. So let's go ahead and click run. And you can see here there's additional information here. We've actually got a test that's been um, assigned to that particular endpoint and we can go in and see the result of that test. So you can make flows as complicated or as simple as you would like. They don't come much more simple than this. 
um, and this is how you create a basic flow. I hope this has helped. Thank you. Take care. Bye.